Oh, we need a supply wagon. <laughs> they all died. I'll just infinite queue them for a little while. They build pretty slow, so even if we end up with like eight, that's that's totally fine. What are we running out of? Wood, bite to 200. Metal, bite to 200. Back off on one set. I don't think I need infinite queue on all of them. Oh, that's a lot of trebuchets. <laughs> so I have 37 minutes to get through all of this from the safe side. What the fuck is happening now? Okay, well. Still no supply wagons there yet. I'm assuming one of these will be a supply wagon. Mostly trebuchets. <laughs> I really wish these campaign well the Conquer the World campaigns on the max difficulty. Won't just grind first. Like there is some strategy involved, sure, but a lot less than I'd like. Okay, everything except the trebuchets. You now go in Kappa City. Because in a second it's going to be ready to cap. There we go. Mm -hmm. I don't think you can run past that. That kind of blocking the way. All right, now cap the city. There we go. Most of you are going to need to go there. I do want that dock dead though. Oh yeah, we're not gonna have any um scouts. For some reason these are not auto producing. So I'll just let them finish their explorer and then they can go back to auto producing. Infinite Q is more accurate, but Okay, so my naval fight is going, I would describe it as even. What the fuck? We got annihilated. What the fuck? Um. Okay. Oh. A bunch of stuff here which isn't on the rally point. Double check that everything is on the senator. Everything except the trebuchets. I just want to make sure you're hitting something. Wait, that was the knight. Okay, the knight go back to attack moving. So fly wagon, stay in the middle of the trebuchets. Am 
Might as well create some decoys. I don't know why these guys aren't waypointing correctly. Surprisingly, I'm gonna need that on Infinite Cube for a little while. We're only going wood and metal once again. We'll buy that up to 200 and just keep going. Once we have this city captured, well, recaptured, I suppose. Fuck. I'm having to fight two armies at the same time. This is not fun. Uh, once that city is recaptured, I can... One second. I can build the barracks and stables here instead. But until then, why is stuff rally pointing wrong? What is going on? We're not winning this naval fight, okay. Need to intercept these guys specifically, or we'll stop them from intercepting me. Uh, okay, how do I fight two armies at the same time when I can't reinforce properly? I guess I can move my production here. Stop the production over here, raise the buildings and then rebuild them. What the hell happened here? <laughs> what? That's where my trebuchets went. Why are they there though? And this fight is being lost, so I'm gonna pull back. Alright, where's my citizen? I don't know, so I'm just gonna pull those guys out. Four barracks. Four stables. Two siege. And a couple forts with a couple of observation posts, because why not? I'm gonna need to raise these. Oh, hmm. I guess it's too late to raise them because I already spent the cost on building these. But at the very least they should probably stop producing right now. Just wasting resources because the fight is not going to be won. Because we do not have naval supremacy right now. That's why I'm trying to fight on two fronts. Still don't know why all of those are there, but... I guess they can just guard the coast for now. Surprisingly, my senator survived, I don't know how. Start selling food. Keep up this ship production. Uh, could micro it a little bit better. I mean, have we killed the docky though? It's getting clear. Once we've cleared the water out, we can send our guys across. Small stockpile of resources wouldn't be bad either, <laughs> given how expensive it is to keep this navy going.
Why was it making a horse sound? Wait, he's not there, don't worry about it. Okay. We're really getting close. Need some light ships to soak up those fire rafts. Oh, the fire rafts could soak up fire la fire rafts. Okay. All right, that looks pretty clear. I'll just scout out with the last of the light ships. Oh, perfect. All right. Let the infinite queue commence. I'll get. Horse archers on two of the stables, I think that should be fine. It's a hooky for that queue. Maybe add a scout onto that. We should be fine for siege. Given that, you know, we have an enormous amount of it. I'll get these guys to stand near the dock so that any fire offs that are built will aggro them. But this is looking pretty good. We only have 27 minutes to take everything, which is my biggest concern, but beyond that, I think we're fine. Unless my sender's there, the control groups will start working a little bit better now, or as well. Land, damn it. Alright. Got a couple of extra generals. You know what? Take out the temple first. A few of you take out that dock. Right, I'm gonna really point that outside of there. base. This is not a fun choke point. <laughs> on this one. I'm running out of wealth, which suggests that I'm building something wrong. Alright, so maybe ditch the crossbows on... Okay, they ditched already. I don't need that, just do that. Um, wow. Ran completely out. Right, stick to two then. I need it to be sustainable. Sell some lumber to boost it temporarily. A bunch of guys idling in the back. Rebuild the temple. Okay, that's fine. We're really running out of time on this defense. Oh, 
I'm gonna cap that city so I'm not getting flanked. And then I'll take out the production structures afterwards. Uh, actually, can't stray too far, otherwise they're gonna cap it back. Wealth is... wealth looks sustainable. I might put a third on infinite queue then. Pull back slightly so they pull out. And then re-engage. Handful of you... Do cap the city because it's going to be reduced soon. There's another city. God damn it. I need these taken out so I don't get flanked. 20 minutes. This little straight's pretty small, it should be fine. As long as I pay attention to what's happening. Which I'm apparently not doing because all my reinforcements are currently getting cut off. And I lost the city because I spent too many people on the bottom half of the fight and then all my reinforcements got cut off. Okay, I need my fire. Graphs to be reassigned to the highest priority targets. I'm really surprised we started losing that naval fight. Alright, pull the fuck back. Maybe there's not enough time after all. I don't know, we'll see. <sighs> I don't know what happened to the naval fight. It was going really well, and then I stopped looking, and then we lost. And that cut off our reinforcements, and then we just started losing. I don't have time to redo this. There's 20 minutes, clock sticking. There's fucking four cities there. I might have to try and weave down here. I don't think there's time to capture this whole thing. I think there's. We're just gonna hit the time limit. Running out of. Wealth. Yeah, I'm bitching. Rally points are gonna break while they're in the water, so I'm gonna just manually set them there. Because that's where I intend to go very shortly. Alright, clear a path. If we can't win the naval fight, we'll avoid it. Shares. Uh, whoever's making the scout stop doing that. We don't have the wealth. We're already down to two knights. We can save some resources by doing that, but it's not much. I think ditch the crossbow from there. 
just have one reading pop cap now, which is not necessarily a bad thing. And it looks like temporarily we don't need the naval stuff. to siege this down while simultaneously dealing with all the reinforcements and the standing armies. You can't hit the city, hit the temple instead. They're all supply wagons. Oh boy. I'm estimating it'll take 5 minutes to take this city and then we just need to find the capital after that I'll get these guys to keep them busy a little bit, if I can draw any forces that would be really good Just walk through Holy shit Some stuff is getting cut off again. That's it. I'm gonna really point them there. I'll really point these guys. Yeah, that's about right. And then I'll siphon off a few of the existing chips. metal but still running out of wealth. This is not working. I can't deal with two armies at the same time. It takes too long to raise a city. Oh, raise. It takes too long to reduce the city. And I'm out of resources. It's going to take a couple of minutes for resources to build up back to where I can infinite queue. At which point, what's the plan? I need to capture a city in order to capture all the other cities because I need to produce units at the location otherwise the, the ship the, the trip along the ocean is too long and slow like this city looks really attractive to capture until you realize that I'm gonna get mauled as soon as I leave this place Let's say it takes two minutes to get this, two minutes, sorry, three minutes to get this, three minutes to get this, a minute to get that, another two minutes to get that, and some of the structures, we're down to ten minutes. That leaves us six minutes to get across the sea and take both capitals that are next to each other and surrounded by observation posts, which block pathing. Like, it's not impossible, it's just really fucking difficult. Especially, we started losing the naval fight as soon as I stopped auto-producing stuff. Alright. The landing here is not currently viable because it's being defended.
which means I need to redirect to here. Let's do that. The citizens might as well come along, actually. Um, and we'll just pull everything out of here. Oh, it's gonna die, never mind. Couple of generals. Oh, I selected three. Okay, well, each build one, that should be fine. Let's try that. Technically I can win by just not losing, but that's really fucking lame. <laughs> I would rather try to win. Alright, now they're starting to defend it. The city at the top doesn't have citizens, so it can't be garrisoned. This is why crossbows are so good. Look at how fast they fire. Legit. That's a massive reason why they're as good as they are. Need another set of knights, otherwise we're gonna have enough front line. They'll sell some wood. these. I need to rebuild them ASAP on the other side. I need my senator back over there. At this stage I wish I was the despot. Well, wish I had the despot. But here we are. Alright, so that's he's gonna fall. And then the problem is they're gonna I'm gonna have to deal with all of this bullshit. Like, what the fuck? <laughs> Alright, cut out the light chips. Just go for heavy ships. And. Now you can keep going. Alright, where are my citizens? Not repairing the city. Actually, don't worry about that city. We need to kill the production buildings. Mm, Japanese, so barracks first. If it was Turks, I'd go for the stables first. What got cancelled? Down to one set of knights, that's not acceptable. I can live with three sets of ships. Because I think that's enough to stall it if I micromanage the fire land the uh, fire rafts. Yeah. Holy fuck. No, that's it. We can't do this. We're gonna have to just not lose. I'm gonna pull everyone out.
That's frustrating, but we technically are gonna win. So that's not too bad, I guess. Fucking war elephants. <laughs> war elephants ranged heavy infantry. Makes it so difficult to do anything. Oh, we're about to simulate. That's ironic. Huh. I wonder if we could have won that. Wait, no, we weren't getting reinforcements, they're still getting cut off. Just spare food. Let's go down with the fire. <laughs> If we can weaken their troops without killing them, they're not going to rebuild them. You know what? Let's try and defend it. Then I'm gonna get to my capital in 11 minutes, so what the hell? Why not? It's gonna fall, but we might be able to take it back right after. I got intercepted as well. Uh, you can do it. No, no, you can't. You're arriving not at the same time. It's gonna kill you. Ah, well, we gave it a shot. But didn't work. <laughs> Uh... Oh. That's gonna look really weird on the scoreboard at the end. Ten minutes left. Now we just we just sit around and we we do nothing because there's nothing really to do. I, I can't win in ten minutes. There's not enough time. Not against the two v one on max difficulty. Not at a naval fight. If it was land fight, maybe. Because in a land fight, I can ensure my reinforcers don't get destroyed and I don't have to worry about spending specific resources on my navy in a fight where I'd, all my stuff is just gonna die anyway I don't want it to be burnt on the low health one nice Screw straight in. Pew pew. Damn. And the ship is not gone because they don't insta kill ships. Asshole. Uh, the splash damage killed the heavy ship behind it, but it actually hit the light ship. Would it be nice to... Wait... Oh shit, my... Horses merchant didn't survive. Hang on! 
There used to be things here. Oh no, that was just the stables and barracks. That's fine. <sighs> They're really undefensive. Mm, okay. Is there a way I could have made this work? Yes, I think if I made my first landing here, I think I could have done it. Especially if I just brought like a hand, a couple, couple handful of spies, couple handfuls of spies for war elephants. I don't have to change my army comp because to get rid of elephants in an auto, like an infinite cube build composition, you have to add uh, heavy horse archers, I think. That's that's how I did it in the Greek campaign. I think heavy horse archers, although their damage is similar, I think the modifier against elephants is better, and the elephants don't tend to hit them that much, and if they do I think it does less damage, so. Not 100% sure on the last bit, but I don't know. If you hover over war elephants, it says counter with heavy horse archers, and it worked for me in the Greek campaign, so. <laughs> Whenever I stop microing this fight, I'm losing up. Kabam! That was a good hit. Kabam! Five minutes. So what's next? Um, counter invade Korea's capital. Now the naval battle, but it's going to be one v one, and I can handle that. It's going to be a massive grind fest, just like this one. But hey, at least it's going to be doable. So it's going to be a one v one, not a two v one. It's not really worth getting. I'm not producing any citizens anymore. <sighs> Five minutes left. I wish there was a fast forward button. <laughs> I guess it wasn't anticipated to be needed. Fair enough. Look at that. Unfortunately, you can't tell them to fire at the ground. It would have been nice if you could. Now I got the uh, horses merchant. 60 wealth. That would have been quite nice, plus, you know, the commerce limit. Oh. It didn't. It didn't increase my commerce limit. I guess it must be capped at 600 until you have. What is it? The green future tech. Global prosperity. I keep thinking about wealth, not prosperity, but yeah, global prosperity. Go forth, my minions. Destroy the evil docks. Destroy the evil docks. Destroy the evil docks. What? Was that an enemy file? Raft? I thought it was one of mine. <laughs> Whoops. I'm 
reason the merchant here doesn't show up on the mini map. Don't know why. Oh man, this is so slow. This is the correct ship type, but it's too early in the game that it doesn't do much damage. Man. Ship sailing speed by 20%. You know what, make them have a really bad day. Show them that we mean business. <laughs> you know what? Just for the hell of it. Because I've nearly hit pop cap here. I'm gonna try and take it again. Why is my first infantry one pikeman? What the fuck happened? Wow, there was still stuff that wasn't selected in either control group. Alright, so the goal is to hold this city until the game ends. I don't know if it's possible. But that's PopCap, that'll help. It means I have a much higher density of troops here than in the previous attempts. And, you know, it's pretty dense. I need them to get away from the coast. Look at all those misfired fire lances. One minute to take the city. Get away from the coast. Get away from the coast. I need that area for landing. I think we have too many pikemen. Because when I reduced, when I, when I changed the infinite Q uh, build order or unit composition, I removed the crossbow, but I also removed. Well, I also shifted like the balance of units towards having more pikemen, but the enemy builds a lot of crossbows because crossbows are OP. Hey, I'll actually give me objective. Yay! For some reason, we managed to do that. Where's the pink force? No, oh, it's still moving over. So, this would have been a problem in like 20 seconds. <laughs> That's where the docks were. Okay. I kept wondering, cause like, I saw this dock, and then it just becomes pink. Yet for some reason they always had chips on the left side. Cause they built four docks in the alcove. <laughs> Don't know why, but there you go. We did it boys. How many people died for this? 1,500. Also the stats are wrong, I think. Because... According to this, I finished the game with 400 troops, which is not true. I captured five cities. Yay! <sighs> I kind of want to play the next one as well, but it's really late. <laughs> uh, so, we want a strategic map. We got 50 tribute because we survived an invasion. The plan is just to do this. I still have to face two armies, it's still a naval battle, but it's a bit less crap than before. The terracotta army is not bad. I might do that. Not great though. Uh, so in this 
game mode. Terracot army, when you do the four civics to unlock wonders, you get another reinforcement army. Which sounds strong until you realize that civic four takes a long time to build or oh, research. Unless you play uh, like Eureka or double Eureka and Civic or just Eureka Civic or double Eureka and a science Eureka. I might get more mileage out of a different wonder. Not these ones, these ones are all pretty crap. Yeah. Because the pyramids aren't that useful mid game. Well, they're, they're okay mid game, but they're, they're not good late game, so. The amount of time they're useful is pretty low because you can't use them in the other game where they're the strongest because you don't start the game with Civic 4, so. Uh, next set of wonders would be. The Red Fort. The Temple of the Cow and the Porcelain Tower, maybe? H5 Wonders are uh, Versailles and something else that I don't remember. I don't remember Porcelain Tower. Or Temple of Tikal, or maybe H5. But H4 has Red Fort and a few more things, don't know what. Which will probably be more useful. Uh, but yeah, in any case, this is the battle plan. Uh, Russia just captured the Persians. Okay, and after we've captured that, we're gonna go into India and I'll shift my armies around. Oh, what do we do after that? I was gonna capture the the uh, Turks, but the Russians did it for me. I might see if I can take a supply center off somebody. And then just invade their capital. If I can do it to the Russians, that would be amazing. Like, if I can negotiate for this supply center, I'll just give them, like, I don't know, Korea and Mongolia in exchange for Urals. Then I get a supply center, I put an army there, and just invade their capital off of it. Otherwise, I don't have anywhere to go which is productive. Wait, wait, hang on. One, two. Oh no, I can just take it by force. Okay. That's fine then. Alright. So that's the, the game plan. I'll invade there. The next turn, I will. Wait, shit, that doesn't work. I wanted to move into there, but I can't because it's still gonna be Indian. So I will have to buy a territory. Those that don't want to waste time. I need to be basically capturing a capital every turn as soon as I've run out of territories around me at the start of the game. Otherwise there's not enough time to win. Because there's so many nations to conquer. Okay. We'll do that next time. Thank you for the one person. Can't you advance the ages quickly or is it restrictive in this mod? Uh I didn't I don't know how old that message is, but it's not extremely old. In this game mode, well this is an official game mode, but um the 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 ages the the ages advance every few turns. You can see uh I'll take the overlay off for a second. There, you can see over here where my camera unfortunately is covering up. Uh, every few turns, the entire world moves forward in age. 
and then once you're in combat you can upgrade one age only and you can only do it like four tech levels in or something like that three tech levels in maybe i don't remember the exact number but yeah age advancement in this is very different so you spend multiple turns in each age and then you're stuck fighting at that age um which can be really good and it can also be really bad like specifically for chinese i'm trying to get to age five because that's like when oh, my my power spikes is chinese age three and age five if i get stuck in age four then like god damn it is difficult relative to other nations um but yeah so i think it's every three turns maybe the age changes so there's seven ages, so we have like, what, 12 more turns? And then maybe two turns at the end? But I think you can still keep going in the last age for two more turns. And there's how many people? Where's the diplomacy screen? No, not that one. No. Which button does what I want it to do? World status, okay. There are still 19 living people including us and we have to conquer them in like 12 turns or so maybe 14 turns so that'll take a while uh, like they'll take over each other a little bit but most of the time the AI is not strong enough to take over another AI when the defending AI um, has a massive advantage like if an AI was trying to defend what I just defended, they would just lose. 95% um, of the time, maybe. But, like, if, let's say, uh, let's say the Germans wanted to attack the Russian capital. That's a five strength with an army. Let's say the Russians moved this army over here so that there'd be a reinforce. Um... That would probably never work. Well, not never, but like 90-95% of the time it would fail. So even though there's 90 nations left, and we've like already eliminated 5, the rate of elimination slows down very significantly because territory strength increases over time. And yeah, it's just a massive grind fest. Except when you play at max difficulty, as I discovered two nights ago, when I started the stream, it becomes map grind fest like you have to grind on, on the strategic map to actually grinding in the game as well so it's not really what i signed up for but it's a fun challenge if you like your brain just melting as you play but it's interesting to watch my brain melt as i play because you don't have to have your brain melted but yeah in any case that's the stream for tonight uh thanks for watching fade and like one other person maybe i don't have the dashboard open but usually i have a random viewer I'll catch you guys next time.